Fire chief and former mayor of a small northern Kentucky community is now charged with stealing from the taxpayers there. Local 12's Jeff Hirsch joins us live from Bromley, where Donnie Lee Job faces charges of theft, fraud, tampering with records, and abuse of public trust. Jeff. Well, good afternoon. The firehouse and city hall here in Bromley, exact same buildings. That was pretty convenient for Donnie Lee Job when he was both the mayor and the fire chief. He stepped down as mayor about a year ago, but is still the chief of the volunteer fire department. Sir, you're charged with abuse of a public trust. It's up to five years in the state penitentiary. Tampering with physical evidence is up to five years. In fact, it could all add up to 20 years if Donnie Lee Job is convicted on all the charges against him. Well, taxpayers, understandably so, tend to get a little irate uh, when officials are using their official position to steal taxpayer funds. The amount is about $8,500 from late 2015 through early 2017. Job resigned from the mayor's office while the investigation was underway, but remained as fire chief. The fire department is a separate organization and not part of city government. Some of the individual amounts are small. For example, Job allegedly bought a car part, claiming it was for a city tractor when in fact it ended up in his own vehicle. Police say Job claimed he submitted the receipt by mistake. There are other things. Job allegedly used a city credit card for nearly $1,600 in building supplies from Home Depot, supposedly for city business, but the items matched the materials used by Job to build his own porch at his house at a secluded end of Roman Avenue. There was a, another elected official in the city of Bromley that came across financial irregularities when they were looking over the, the books in the Bromley City Building. Um, they saw purchases that they thought were suspect. $8,485.88 may not seem like a huge amount of money, but Bromley is not a huge community. In fact, based on the most recent population estimate, the alleged theft works out to about $10.50 for every man, woman, and child who lives here. And the investigation is not finished. Just the fact that this has made news since Mr. Job turned himself into the Kenton County Detention Center, some other witnesses have come forward with information, so police are conducting even more interviews now. Job's bond was set at $8,000, which is basically the amount of the alleged theft. However, because he is a first-time nonviolent offender, he was allowed to post only 10% of that. That's $800, and he is now out of the Kenton County Detention Center. There is another court hearing scheduled for next week. Live in Bromley, Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Jeff. And we tried to get a comment from Joe, but the firehouse was closed. The voicemail was full and could not accept a message, and there was no response to our emails. 